Hey guys, and welcome back to A Twinge of Cringe. My name is Chat Chat. Not really. And it's almost Halloween, so I want to talk about something spooky. I want to talk about something horrifying, bone chilling. I would like to pee in my pants. And the other day, I was thinking, and it hit me. Instagram Reels. I don't know when Reels became scarier than TikTok, but they did. It happened. They got worse. Opening the comment section of a Reel fills me with the same amount of fear as opening a box of snakes. Except it's actually scarier, because at least snakes don't say slurs. So I sat down the other night to face my fears. There were some patterns. A lot of the reels I found were traditional housewife core. I used to really be into politics, but now I just relax while my husband tells me what to think. I just love the implication that thinking is too stressful for women. Like having too many thoughts at once will overload us. So what's your favorite color? Um, do you like green? Um, How about red? I just tell me which one. I, do you like purple? Uh, no, it's, it's too much. I can't think of the sound of my ovaries. The way they say these things though is like, this is how it should be. This is how God wanted it to be. So I guess God gave us brains and said, here you go, but don't use it. Brains are for boys. And don't take a bite out of it. It seems like I shouldn't have to say that, but I do, apparently. And if you're wondering why she's making bread, I don't know. They're always making bread. I saw it so consistently that I ended up making a game out of it. That and aprons. It's an apron. We found an apron. Oh my God. Apron. Everybody, we have an apron. Apron. Put my mic down. Apron. We got an apron. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Making bread. Making bread. We got one. And I get it, I like to make bread. So let me tell you about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Casetify. Casetify is the most popular tech accessory brand known for their protective yet cute phone cases. They have tons of design options. You can customize your own case or choose from their collection of over 2000 designs curated by their global network of artists. And their newest impact cases feature a lifted camera ring that gives your phone extra protection and serves as a stand you can use to prop up your phone. The ring stand has a no screw design just like you and is adjustable up to 150 degrees. So it can be used while you're cleaning, while you're FaceTiming your mom to show her your new sweater, she doesn't care, you've called her three times today, or while you're eating and watching the greatest best YouTuber alive, the best one to exist. The ring stand cases are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials and are lighter and slimmer than other impact cases while being just as sturdy. They've got drop protection for up to 6.6 .6 feet, that's almost as tall as I am, and their EcoShock technology keeps your phone nice and safe by taking the impact of a fall, transferring it into heat, and then sending it across the surface of the phone. What are they, like genius phone case experts? They are, that's what they are. If you want to check them out, just click the link in the description or go to casetify.com slash chadchad for a special discount. Thank you to Casetify for sponsoring and let's get back to the video. There's quite a few where they're talking about raising their daughters to do the same and how bearing children will be her greatest joy. That being a homemaker is the number one career she should strive for. She can't even read yet. Her greatest joy is cocoa melon and eating bugs. Do you get a bread machine for your daughter at Christmas? You just get her cooking utensils. David has got a train set. He's been wanting it for two years, and <gasps> Deborah, it's a spatula. Merry Christmas. <laughs> they have similar kinds of values, like for example, how you should submit to your husband. Submit to your husband in everything. Even if you disagree with him, he's not a Christian, you think you're smarter or more spiritual. What if my husband is a fucking hey. idiot? What if my husband is about to step into oncoming traffic? Hey honey, you forgot to check both ways. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over you being a woman. So I'm gonna step out, all right? I'll be back later, maybe make me some bread. Controversial thing about our lifestyle. I submit to my husband. Ew, you submit to your husband? Keep your kinks to yourself. Whatever you guys are doing, that's up to you. I don't want to hear about that. I'm going to start making reels like this, but it's going to be like, my husband submits to me in the bedroom and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I will peg my husband. In a world where women take pride in being loud and argumentative, the godly woman knows strength in being reserved. This is something that I should take to heart though. I have been very argumentative in this video, but from now on, I'm going to be reserved, humble, and soft spoken. Sorry, soft spoken. <laughs> I've always wanted to burp on camera. It seems like a rite of passage for YouTubers. Do you guys feel transformed? I feel transformed. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my God, it's happening. But then we have this other type of reel that I get pretty frequently that I didn't, I didn't interact with it. It's just there, okay? It's kind of like book talk, but much more illegal. I'm sorry, chat, is this necrophilia? Chat? 
Chat, is this necrophilia? Chat. Chat? Just because you can put something in a romance book doesn't mean you should. At some point we went from, oh no, there's only one bed in this inn, whatever shall we do? And then we got to, oh no, there's only one bed in this inn. This murder inn? I kill people, but it's cause I'm misunderstood and my gaze, it softens a lot. Unlike my dick. Speaking of, there were also people slapping their meat. Oh my God. I don't know if it's just the different algorithms, but reels seem to have a lot more gross food videos. Who needs an ice cream sandwich when you can just stick a huge block of butter in the freezer? Careful not to break a tooth. Mm. What? Okay, time to be a butter muncher. It's my nickname in college. I can't swallow that. I didn't think it would be good, but I thought it would be a little butter. Yes, there were times. You have people who want to be fitness influencers, but the content isn't getting enough interaction, I guess. So they just start to say really weird things. If I did a girl, she's never leaving the house. Like she's staying in my basement all day for like years straight. She can come up to eat, potentially make me a sandwich, you know, do some laundry, have fun around the house sometime, but then right back down to the basement. Yeah, so I keep women in my basement and they aren't allowed to leave. They live in cages and I keep the key around my neck. But anyway, let's do some push-ups. Chop chop, which is also what I say to the women in my basement before I put them in my protein shakes. <laughs> Yeah. How I make time for God at the gym. First, I start by writing down my favorite Bible verses and praying over them and also talking to the Lord. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nobody's doing this. This isn't real. This is fake. There's no way that she's doing this. I don't believe. I don't believe you. What's your name? Active wear? I don't believe you, active wear. That's a dumb name. Get a new name. Oh, and the music. Don't forget the music. That was really good. See the devil, he don't make me flinch, I won't settle She put a foot to the battle It gon' take a whole lot to be a vessel This song was big on TikTok a while ago, so Reels are still not beating the claims that they're just months behind TikTok. What's so bad about Reels? Bad, bad? I think they're pretty interesting. How did you get in here? You hear about those people who got stuck in a submarine? Did you copy my house key again? Hope they're okay. You gotta go. You can't keep- Hope they find them. There was weirdly horny content, but when is there not? What are the actual benefits of getting naked with a group of men? Whoa, I'd say hello first. What are we, we're just jumping straight into it? He never explains the benefits, by the way. You can't just open with a line like that and then not tell us. So what are the benefits of putting tomato sauce up your ass? I, I don't know, what are they? What are they? Where are you going? Lincoln bio. I'm not clicking that. Sometimes there's just stuff that can't be explained. When he's the five C's, Christian, country, cowboy, conservative, confident. Are these in the order of importance? Like is the most important is being Christian and the least important is being confident. So it's okay if he's a little anxious, but only if he's a cowboy. Yeehaw, I guess. Is that, is that okay? Giddy up if that's okay with you. And of course we can't escape street interviews. Those just can't be avoided anywhere on any corner of the internet. What's your age? 19. 29. I like them young. Perfect age gap for a relationship. Why? Well, see, when they're 19, you can train them. <laughs> they're very young, so you know, you can influence them and train them to be the, the, the perfect woman for you. He's admitting to the bad reasons of why he's doing what he's doing. If you sound like you're describing a puppy while talking about your relationship, do not have that relationship. Perhaps. Perhaps do not do that. Why does he stand at an angle? He just, he stands like there's a really strong breeze. So yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I, I love grooming people. So I feel pretty spooked. I think that these really did the trick and were not a treat at all. What was that? My power is on, what was that? What 
the fuck? Because he has a knife. I'm going to call it there, guys. Thank you for subscribing. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on my video out of all the videos that are on here. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Ooh. Okay, bye.